Hi everybody, Jerry Bellini here from My Arts and Parts and today I'm going to show you my new travel art bag. And the reason I came up with this is because I've been going back and forth to my little house. I call it the little house. And it's a house my husband and I purchased um, March 1st. And it's a tiny ranch. We're downsizing. And it's a total remodel. So we're not moving into it for months, I don't know, maybe even till next spring. But I thought it would be fun to document the, the progress of the house. And so I decided to do it um, a Fobonichi journal. And if you don't know what that is, check out uh, Fobonichi journalers on Facebook. And if you have any questions about it, if you, if you don't want to go on Facebook or if you don't have a Facebook account, just ask me in the comments below and I'd be happy to show you more about it. But this is this is my journal. So I'm going to just stick to the art bag for now. So I wanted to bring over the supplies that I'm using for my art bag because I have to bring coffee and sandwiches and stuff like that to my hub and whoever's working at the little house. So I'm back and forth a lot. The house is only about 10 minutes from here which is awesome. So when I go over there I like to sometimes you know hang out. Uh, there's a really beautiful patio out back and when the weather's nice I'll bring my journal and I'll work on it. So I want to show you what I came up with this awesome okay so <laughs> the reason that this bag is here is because this is the bag I'm using. Uh, this is my daughter's business and she has these bags made up and they're perfect for this project the art bag so it's one of these big bags so you can see that that you would you know use for groceries and whatnot all right so that's what I'm using the bag mine doesn't have to stay closed because I'm just going back and forth in my car now the next thing I'm using is this it is a little tower I'm gonna lay it down so you can see it it's a little tower one of those plastic things with the drawers and I got it at Walmart when well, my husband bought it for me and it's tiny and it fits right in this bag and of course I'm looking for a ruler so I can measure it for you it is seven inches wide by um, seven and three quarters inches deep but it's awesome it's got five drawers yeah, five drawers. <laughs> I had to stop and count that for a minute. And so anything that has to lay flat, I put in here. So my pens, my pens are in here that have to lay flat. This fits right in this bag. Check this out. Trying to do it on camera is a little bit more difficult than trying to do it in person. All right. It goes into the right-hand corner, just like that. <clears throat> and I'm, excuse me, I'm left with this little area over here. So what I decided to do is make two boxes, and I'm just gonna move the bag over a hair. I made two boxes that would fit perfectly, this little cardboard box, that would fit perfectly in the bottom of this bag. And inside the box I have my tin of Inktense pencils, which I use in my Fobonichi. I have a pad of paper, I have a pen, um, scissors, a water brush, a glue thingy, I have a glue stick and, and an eraser. And that fits right in the bag. You see that? Awesome. So I made two boxes like that and they both fit in this bag perfectly. So this one is my colored pencils and they are in a little round tin. I have some washi tape, uh, lots of washi tape actually, and that fits right alongside there. Trust me it does. <laughs> you know whenever you want to do something on camera it never goes right. All right, is this awesome? It's perfect. And then I just stick my journal along the edge and I forgot this one more thing this is my clip art because I use uh, clip art in my journal and I also have these little hooks to hold my pages down and I put them right on the handles and I am good to go man I am ready to go and it is not that heavy 
So, that's it. I just wanted to share with you that amazing travel art bag. And by the way, I didn't think of this myself. My daughter, my oldest daughter, uh, said to me, Hey, Mom, you really got to try this because she, <laughs> she's been doing this for a while. She's a big scrapbooker. She goes to a lot of conventions and whatnot. So, that's all I have to tell you for today, guys. And I hope you have a blessed day full of love and art. And I hope maybe, you know, maybe you'll use this little um, travel art bag too. Cheap. The tower, did I mention, is was under $10. I think it was $8. And the rest of the stuff is just whatever I had in the house. All right. See you next time. Have a great day. Bye-bye. Uh -huh.